just after midnight. It's like 12.06 a.m. Um, I know I usually say that for me, it's still that night, uh, whatever day, you know, just passed. But today, I am officially coming to you on March the 1st. That's right. It's after midnight, so it's officially March the 1st. And that means it's my birthday month. So, if anybody's wondering, my birthday is Sunday. Next Sunday is the 8th. Right? That's bad. I, don't have, I haven't even figured that out. Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> Age is doing weird things to me. But it's the 8th. Either way. Um, so it's also a start month for a new project. So I think, what did I have on plan to start this month? I think I was going to start the, um, the printed cross stitch, but I'll have to get back to you on that because I don't remember. <laughs> um, unfortunately at the moment I don't have a stitching update for you guys because I've been trying to let my eyes rest this past weekend and so I literally have done no stitching. Mm. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> what just happened with my eye? Um, but I literally got no stitching in at all. I'm, I will admit that I did get a little bit. I got a few stitches in on um, and Bars and Lavro. See where that needle is? See where the end of my stitching, the border is? That's how much stitching I've gotten done. Um, I'll go into a little bit more later. Um, I did manage to get that done. Um, and I guess the last thing I want to mention is, um, Jesse Marie did call the numbers for whip though for March. Um, and the projects that they correspond to for my boards, because remember I have two. Um, first board is, um, the numbers are 15 and 21, by the way. Um, the first board, the numbers correspond to Death by Cross Stitch and Princess Mermaids. Um, 10 days on Death by Cross Stitch and uh, Princess Mermaids, um, which is sort of stitch design. Um, my goal on that is to complete that first mermaid, um, which I'm not very far into, by the way. Um, on my second board, those numbers correspond to calendar of, calendar of events. Um, it's a Janlin kit, and my goal on that one is to complete the border. And also Kitty Litter by Dimensions. I think it's a Dimensions Gold Kit. And my goal on that one is a thousand stitches. Sorry. My finger's getting a little tired. Um, so I'm going to have to, I haven't had a chance to do it yet, but I'm going to flip a coin and see, sorry. I'm going to flip a coin and see which of the two I want to double up on my, my progress goal. And it's a little scary for, for this month because um, I can't use it on calendar of, calendar of events because I have a set goal to complete a set um, a section. Um, I, my goal is to complete the border. I can't double that. Um, I also can't use it on Princess Mermaids because that's another set goal to complete all of one of the five mermaids. The only way the only way I can double that would be to stitch two full mermaids instead of just one. And that's a little more stitching time that I'm gonna be able to put forth this month. So really the it's really just gonna be between 
um, kitty litter and death by cross stitch. So that's going to be some heavy duty stitching. <laughs> Either I'm going to have to put 20 days into death by cross stitch instead of 10, or I'm going to have to put 2000 stitches into kitty litter instead of a thousand stitches. But, um, yeah, it's a little scary. <laughs> I'm still working on March and January and February goals. So anywho, um, that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, I don't want to leave y'all hanging this month, but, uh, um, I got to do my grocery shopping tomorrow and I think I might go out and do some Instacart tomorrow afternoon when Andy gets home. So maybe I'll take y'all along. So I just, I just feel like maybe this week's video is going to be a little bit shorter, but as much as I talk, it could be just as long as the rest of them. So we'll see. So that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, and then until I see y'all again, bye. What's up guys? Welcome back. It is um, about 10 minutes till 2 on Tuesday, March the 1st. I just got back a little bit ago from um, the grocery store with Abby. And she is down for a nap. Um, she's getting there. She's still fiddling with the pacifiers, but she's getting there. Um, and had a little bit of a grocery haul, so I thought I would go ahead and share that with you as I make my way over to the grocery haul. <laughs> I have ice cream, y'all. I'm trying not to let it melt. Um, but you can kind of see that's my grocery haul there. Um, so my grand total, tell y'all, my grand total for everything was $126 and some change. Um, but that's partially due to, there's a few coupons that I use for spend this much on meat and get two dollars off th those kind of things had a couple of those um and then i actually earned eleven dollars for something that they do at food line called um spend and save or something like that something and save so um which it that's another thing where if you buy so much in a certain department of so so much of sodas or something like that then you get a dollar off or two dollars off you get five dollars back that kind of thing so um so i think i did pretty good there was a lot of um ingredients that uh, more especially ingredients that i was looking for that i kind of figured i wasn't going to be able to find there but i am going to have to go back out when andy gets home yeah. but anywho um as you can see my grocery haul back there i'm going to turn y'all around and we're going to go through everything so hold on just a second Alrighty guys, this will be the grocery haul for the week, as you can see. Um, we're going to start over here, as we always do. Um, first I got a loaf of bread here, just a regular loaf of sandwich bread. Um, last time I got bread, I got a homestyle bread, and I don't think Abby's too crazy about it. The texture is just a little bit more open and airy. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Um, pack of peanuts that is actually going to be used for a recipe <laughs> one of those recipes i was talking about um a dozen eggs a few bananas because we're not eating as many bananas as we used to because i'm she's getting like other fruits and stuff and bananas i kind of don't like giving her bananas unless like maybe for breakfast or something unless i know she's going to eat them because they do start browning super fast once they're cut <laughs> once they're open but here Let's see what we got here. Um, these are, there's a lime. There's a lime. Um, and then we have some green onions. Sorry, I'm trying to show y'all. Green onions. Don't go away, lime. Um, and this big bag right here, there's just some um, couple heads of broccoli. Um, and then way back there on the coffee maker, got another pack of strawberries. Here we've got um, some uh, crunchy snacks for Abby. Apple, sweet potato, famous size goldfish for her. These are the ones that have like multiple, multiple colors. I think it's there's red, um, orange, and green in there. Um, and then they have these on sale. These are kind of a newer item that she has put out recently. They're more baked 
type of thing. Um, they had them on sale. Normally they're like four dollars and something. Um, they had them on sale too for five, so I thought that was a really good deal. So I got cheddar, sour cream, and onion. And now this one is also new. It's puffed. Um, they were also two for five in double cheese. So thought me and Andy could give those a try. Um, saw this. Canada Dry is a carbonated drink. Um, do and I've never had any of these mixes that are supposed to be like based on carbonated beverages. So I'm interested to see if they, uh, if somehow there's some carbonation in there, but I doubt it. It's probably just going to taste like cranberry, just the flavoring of the cranberry ginger ale. So I thought I'd give that a try. Um, you can see some more muffin mixes here. Oops. Drink mix fell. Um, some more muffin mixes here. I got two of the blueberry because of, I have a feeling those will be more popular. Um, I got a strawberry cheesecake. Um, got a couple cans of cream and mushroom. I'm going to make some cube steak one day this week. Um, some small cans of vegetables. I got a lima bean. There's a carrot down there. Two cans of green beans. Lord knows that's Abby's favorite <laughs> vegetable. Um, Boston cream donut pop tarts. I had seen these like last time I went shopping, but I was trying to be strong and did not get them. Um, International Delight. That's my creamer of choice. Back here, we got the Nesquik chocolate syrup. I got some this strawberry syrup, even though I wanted the next quick kind. Um, everywhere, several places seem to be out of it. So I got this kind for now. Um, if I happen across the next quick kind later on, I'll just get that also. Gallon of milk, nothing special about that. Um, I got Andy a couple of these um, classic fried chicken, Hungry Man's, they're both the same thing. Um, some Texas toast, Texas toast. Um, and then the ice cream that I'm trying not to let melt. <laughs> trying not to let it melt. As far as meats, we have, I got some Jimmy Dean, dang it. I got some Jimmy Dean, um, refrigerated sausages that were in like with the, the bacon and stuff like that. Um, ground pork. That was for one of those, um, iffy recipes. Um, let me grab that sausage. So we got some Eckridge sausage. Forgot to get the Zatarans that I was going to use this for, but I can get that later. Um, some chicken cutlets and the cube steak. Cube steak was on sale, even though I think it's actually cheaper at Publix maybe, but it was on sale at Food Lion, so I got it at Food Lion. Um, got some juice, apple juice, and fruit punch for Abby. Mount, couple of Mountain Dews. Um, Andy is the one that mostly drinks these. I do drink Mountain Dew, um, but I've just really been preferring the Diet Mountain Dews lately, and I've been getting those in like the cans or the individual bottles. So the two liters are all him. Um, and then I also got him some um, him juice. <laughs> um, he does like the tropical kind, but they were out of the tropical, so we got the orange pineapple kind he'll drink it um some 409 cleaner some scrubby things three pack of those um because i had to throw away one the other day because it was looking pretty bad and then underneath the meats here you can see it there's a ice cream scoop um, because andy's been wanting one and then here in the back i have a couple of eight packs of Gatorade, 20 ounce. There's a fruit punch and an orange back there. And then a big box of chips. He grows through these things. Like he'll take three different kinds. He'll take three packs of chips to work every day in a Gatorade and then some crackers. Um, that's basically what he eats at, at, at work. Um, so he goes through these things pretty fast. Um, so I got him a 28 pack. And hopefully, I think I think the other finds. I think these are fine. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So, um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this, and um, maybe one day I can get back into a um, uh, actual stitching update for y'all. But for now, I will see y'all later. Bye. I'm in a car.
car wash. <laughs> Just going out and doing some errands and my car is dirty. So desperately needs a car wash. Um, not getting anything fancy. Just doing the most basic of basic um, exterior washes. So um, from here I am going to head toward Target and go ahead and go pick up my curbside order that was ready yesterday. Um, and then I think from there, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may go ahead and head toward the um, Asian market. Um, or I may go ahead and try to go to Dollar Tree and see about some storage containers. Um, but I don't know yet. I haven't figured that part out yet. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's all for now. That's all I want to say. Um, so I just saw Publix. Um, I was able to get a few things that I needed. Um, got the jasmine rice that I needed. The food line, food line didn't have. Um, did find the Nesquik strawberry syrup that I also needed that Poon Lion did not have. Um, got my ginger root and they had some bags of long green wild rice. And I'm hoping that's what I would need to make a couple of things that I've been trying to make for a while now. Um, but I'm on my way now to the Asian grocery, which is just down the road down here. Um, I had looked up on Google where an Asian grocery might be, and this door came up, and I'm like, oh yeah, I know where that's at. So, um, I'm actually almost here, so, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go here, and hopefully they have the last few items that I need, and, um, I will get back to y'all later. Bye, guys. Well, they didn't even know what I was talking about, this, things that I needed. So, um, there's a Japanese mar uh, food market a good hour and a half away. I'm not going there today. Um, I've looked on their website. I don't know if they have these particular items that I need, but I'm going to have to try to go down there another day. Um, or just try to see what I can order online. So, the ponzu sauce is one thing. Like, I need something called ponzu sauce. Publix was supposed to have it, but they were just out of it. So, if I can find the ponzu sauce somewhere, that's that'll at least make up everything I need for this ponzu chicken stuff. So, at least I'll have that. Where did I put my list? Um, the ponzu sauce, yeah, that's the last thing I need for, um, this ponzu chicken. Everything else is for a different, um, different recipe. I will find a way one of these days to make that recipe because I remember it being absolutely, de absolutely delicious and I hate that HelloFresh kind of uses its own versions of stuff. Um, being like all portioned out and everything is one thing, but being able to recreate it to actually find these ingredients um, elsewhere um, to try to remake this stuff is another ordeal. I'm gonna keep looking. Um, I may see if I'm gonna I'm gonna find that ponzu sauce somewhere. I've gotta find it somewhere. It doesn't have to be today because we're just doing sloppy joes tonight. But I will find it somewhere this week so that I can make this chicken. And um, so yeah, it was a waste of time. Um literally not getting anything 
on Instacart. Literally nothing. So, I think what I'm going to do is, it's, um, what time is it? It's quarter till five. I could be smart and head on back to the house. Or, I could be me and maybe go to Goodwill. I don't know. I'm still kind of iffy on that. But I've gotten my errands run that I need to do. So, what do you do after that? Oh, no, I haven't got my errands run. I need to go to try to find some food containers for a couple things. So, we're going to do that. See y'all later. Hey, guys. So, I did find some storage at Dollar Tree, or should I say Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Um, I got me a couple storage containers, um, a couple of two packs of like a tall round storage container because I want to put breadcrumbs in those and found a container that I'm hoping will work for the strawberries because I don't ever get um, the big container of strawberries. I always get like the one pound container of strawberries. So I'm hoping this container is big enough for it. Um, and then I also got a couple of two packs of these little small containers. Um, because when we give Abby, um, when we open up a can, the, the small cans of vegetables to give Abby some, we usually feed her half of that at a time. So then we have another half of a small, like, I think it's eight ounce can of vegetables. So we have some containers now, but we don't have lids for them because a while back when I was cleaning out a drawer, I found a whole bunch of lids um, that I didn't know what they went to, so tossed them out, um, and then discovered these, the actual containers later on in the cabinet, and, and I realized that's what those, that's what all those blue lids went to, um, that were in the drawer, and, um, so we have a bunch of containers with no lids. So I needed some, um, needed a couple of smaller containers to put the leftover of the small cans of vegetables for Abby. Um, so I got that and so I'm hoping, hoping, um, hoping all those work. So, um, it is... Um, about 20 after 5. Yes, I got me a soda too. Um, a can of. Um, and I got me a Reese cup too. Um, because I am starving. I just had a big lunch at 2 o'clock. And I am starving. Don't know why, but I'm starving. Um, so... I'm going to head on back to the house, y'all. I'm tempted to hit up Once Upon a Child over here, but I don't really want to because I don't want to get out of the car again. Um, so I guess that means I'm just going to head back to the house. No goodwill or anything like that. I'm just going to head back to the house. So, but, um, I might try to see if I can get some stitching done tonight. Um, my eyes are still kind of funny. Um, and Andy keeps telling me to, that I need to go to the doctor, to go to the eye doctor. And I really do. Um, I just keep, um, procrastinating, like I always do. So, I, I will try. I will try. No guarantees. But, even if y'all don't see much stitching in this video, I try to take y'all along with me on my little adventures <laughs> when I get to escape the house. So, um, but that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, and I guess whenever I get something that I want to share with you guys, I guess I'll be back. Okay, so I lied. Um, I did go by Once Upon a Child. Um, and I did find Abby some cute 24 months slash 2T pajamas. Um, how many pairs did I get? 
four or five. Um, I think three of them. I think I got five pairs. Three of them was hoodie pajamas. Two of those were like the um, heavy sleepers, like more fleecy kind. And I got two, um, like two piece matching sets. Um, so she'll at least have those pajamas <laughs> to start out with. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've gotten some other pajamas for her already. So, um, but she won't be able to wear them for at least two or three months. So uh, I'm not stressing over it. I started to do some shopping in the actual, like, clothing, um, like shirts and pants and shorts and dresses and all that stuff. And I'm like, no, just get the pajamas for now and you can always come back another day. Um, so I just got the, I just got the pajamas. Cost me $16 something, I think. Um, I had a 15% off, um, coupon, like readily on my account and um, 15 points, whatever that adds up to. Um, so, I just saved a little bit of money there, so I'm happy about that. But, I'm definitely, definitely for sure heading home now. Because it is um, 10 till 6. And I need to get home to my family. And, <laughs> you know, take, take a load off for a few minutes use the bathroom first and foremost because I've had to pee for hours now and uh, make some dinner later on and call it a, call it a night so um yeah you know me I never can never can stick to just do this do this do this there's always some kind of um detour <laughs> that has to happen so but that's all there you go spent more money on my child, as always. What's up guys? Welcome back. It's me again. Um, today I actually do want to bring you a stitching update, um, which is kind of awesome because I haven't really gotten any stitching done since Thursday or Friday of last week. Um, oh, and it is um, the end of the day, um, Wednesday, March the 2nd. Um, it is still Wednesday. Um, we are coming up upon 11.30 p.m. So, still Wednesday. Um, I did uh, decide to go ahead and try to get some stitching in on a couple of the uh, March uh, WIPGO projects. And, um, those projects were, let's see if I can remember these off the top of my head, um, because I have two boards, so that's four projects. Um, Kitty Litter by Dimensions Gold, um, Death by Cross Stitch, Long Talk Samplers, right? Um, Soda Stitch, Princess Mermaids, and... Calendar of Events, which is a Chandlin kit, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, um, if you remember, I have been having some issues with my eyes. Um, and so I, I did take a break from stitching for a while. And um, I'm I had noticed probably Monday or yesterday that my eyes seemed to be like they were doing a little bit better. And I tried to see how they would act in my um, heavy duty magnifying glasses. And I they still started getting that old feeling back again. So those aren't gonna work. And then I kind of had an idea that let me try and see if how my eyes react in my reading glasses, which are a 2.0 magnification. The heavy duty ones are the lenses that I use 
on those more often is 2.5. So let me try my reading glasses and see if how my eyes react with those. So, um, it seemed to be a little better, but they seemed to be okay. Didn't seem to be stressing my eyes out too much. So, um, I had ordered a lighted magnifier from Amazon last Friday and it arrived Sunday and I was out doing Instacart all day so I wasn't able to get home to try it out and everything until later that evening. So and when I'm sitting there trying to try out this light it's just not working y'all. The neck on it is too short and just trying to look down into the thing was like trying to make my eyes cross because it has like this walleye look to it, it feel. So that's not going to work. Um, I don't know. It's, it's right there, that black lamp. I don't know if you can see it, but, um, so I said that I was going to, I couldn't use, I can't use it for stitching. I can't. Um, because what I generally like to do is I hold my stitching up pretty close to my face. So, and there was no room to where I could clamp it at. Um, I didn't have a long enough neck and being able to hold it like the, the thing literally had to be like right here. And I had pulled my stitching down and that's not comfortable for me. Um... So, what I'm going to do is, if I ever get a chance, I'm going to um, try it out over my diamond painting and see how it works with my diamond painting. Sorry, that's the remote. Um, I'm going to see how it works with my diamond painting, and if I still can't use it with my diamond painting, I'm just going to have to send it back. So, what I was thinking the other day was, um, well... It kind of started coming into my brain last night and the more I thought on it today I'm like that, that might work so I didn't think about it until after I had gone to Dollar Tree yesterday um, and I did kind of briefly look at the glasses I wasn't able to like really look at them that good because they were right by the checkout <laughs> and it was in the checkout line so um, I started kind of getting an idea that maybe if I can get a 2.5 magnification reading glasses, um, I'd be interested to see how those work. Because I have, I kind of have an idea for two different things I want to try. I want to try the reading glasses, and then I also kind of want to try one of those um, magnifiers that goes around your neck. Um, because that would be right at where I would need it at. So, that's just two things I want to try. If those don't work, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I got to figure out something because I still got to stitch, y'all. I'm still young enough to be able to stitch. You know, it shouldn't be this difficult for me to stitch at my age. So, with all that being said, six and a half minutes in. <laughs> um, with all that being said, I did get some progress today. And I got a good bit of progress on stuff. Um, Abby took like a three hour nap earlier. She didn't sleep that great last night. She was up a couple of times and I don't know what was wrong with her. Um, but she managed to fall asleep this morning and then I got up with her. She was back up by like 1045 this morning. Um, and then she finally went down for a nap at three. And girl, I had to I had to, I had to wake this girl up at six o'clock because she was still trying to sleep. So, in that three hours, I got some good progress on. Well, I got my progress in on death by cross stitch. But um, my goal on that is ten days, so I got my day in. Um, and then I also got some progress on kitty litter. That one actually has a number goal, number of stitches. So 
I got a little bit. <laughs> I got 5% of the way <laughs> to my goal. Um, but let me show you what my progress actually is because I'm sitting here rambling on. Um, and I also did get a little bit haul. I got something in the mail today I can show you. So, um, I'm going to, do I insert a, a picture of where I'm started at? Um, I will because a lot of it's going to be hidden. Um, so yeah, I'll, you'll be seeing a picture of where it started, started at. Um, may need to put something behind this, <laughs> but this is my progress now. Um, I came out, I think I was about here on that purple line, um, that in the middle right there. And I, I just came out the rest of the way to match up with the rest of that. Um, and that was like a leftover thread. So that was like the perfect amount. <laughs> and then I came down here. Well, actually, I did this little bit here too. I didn't even notice that was a heart, y'all. <laughs> I'm down here stitching on it and I didn't even notice it was a heart. Um, did I do that today? Yeah, I did. Um, I had a couple, I had like up to here done just where these solid lines are. And then I did this little bit right here and then I came down and I've done this top of the, um, little diamond shape here. Um, that comes down right here and it goes down and then back up and so, I did that little bit right there. And, my total number of stitches that I stitched on this today was 225 stitches. Not including those back stitch lines. Right there. And in, in the things right here. So, 225 stitches. I think I did pretty good, y'all. So, I am hella proud of myself. So... Um, so I got that little bit done, and about the time I was wrapping up that 225th stitch, I, w I was coming to the end of that length of thread, um, it was getting about time that I needed to wake Abby up, because I was not about to let her keep sleeping. Um, and she's, she's been doing that last few days, she's been, um, waking up a little bit later in the morning, but then staying up four or five hours and then taking a longer nap, like two, two and a half hour nap, and then staying up another four or five, six hours and then sleeping through the night. So, so here lately, she's only been taking one longer nap most days. Um, some days she will take two shorter naps, like an hour, hour and a half long. But most days she is just taking one longer nap um, later on in the afternoon. Um, and then tonight, um, after I got her to bed, I did decide to go ahead and try to pull out kitty litter. And I will go ahead and show you what this looks like because you may not know. Um, so this is a Dimensions Gold Kit. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen this one yet, but that's what it looks like. And I'm literally just in the beginning stages. I'm just still working on this little orange, orange cat right there. And I think of it as a he because I used to have a, um, an orange tabby like that. He was a full grown cat though. He wasn't a kitten. He was like a year and a half old. Um, I had him and Dean. And, um, his name used to be Sam, and then the other cat's name was Dean. And yes, I named them after the characters from Supernatural. And once I saw their personalities coming out, I switched the names. <laughs> so he became Dean, and the orange one was Sam. And, um, unfortunately, I had to give Sam away, um, when I moved back to North Carolina, um, my sister had to take Dean, um, and she kept him for a year, um, because Andy kept saying he was allergic to cats, so, um, my sister was holding on to him, and I thought I was gonna have to find somebody else to take him, um, but it ended up 
I just went ahead and took him home after about a year and and he's done pretty and he's done fine with him um I think he's got a weird coat so I think it's just something about him that's um hypoallergenic or whatever but anyway I used to have an orange um orange tabby for a while and so I'm thinking of an thinking of this kitten as a he um so this is where it's at right now um I did all of this lighter color I don't know if you can see it but all this lighter color that's in here and that's what I stitched tonight and there is some more of it like up here these are his where his ears are so there is a little bit more of it like up in here but um and then around around the tips of his ears <clears throat> excuse me um but I got my little start on it don't just pay no attention to these marks that you see. That was from me um, starting it in the wrong orientation a couple se several years ago. Actually, I remember um, being in a hotel room with my mom. Um, her and my stepdad had had a big disagreement, and so she went to stay at a hotel um, for the weekend, and I stayed with her, and I had taken this with me to start it and I had inadvertently started it in the wrong direction so that's why those marks are there but just ignore those they will be covered up um, when I get some more stitching in over there but uh, yeah just did all this little bit of light stitching so <laughs> I like my needle miners to be straight up and down like the way they're supposed to be um so yeah that's that's where that's at right now and i barely managed to get 100 stitches on it i got 101 stitches on it tonight and um my goal on it was originally a thousand stitches why i set my goal that high on that project i have no clue um but I may need to, if, if it gets down later in the year, if I can't still, um, am no closer, if I feel like I'm not close enough to my goal, I may, <laughs> I may change it back to a thousand stitches. Um, but I did manage a hundred month stitches on it tonight. So, <laughs> uh, oh, and the reason I was saying, um, 2000 stitches is because, um, out of the four projects um, on those two glow boards that were called for March, um, Princess Mermaids was not eligible to double down, and um, Calendar of Events was not eligible to double down because those each had a set area goal. Like um, Calendar of Events. I just, I have a goal of finishing the border and the princess mermaids. I have a goal of finishing that whole first mermaid and to double down on that, there, there's no way I would get two full mermaids stitched in this year with the amount of stitching time that I get. So that left kitty litter, which originally had a goal of a thousand stitches and death by cross stitch, which originally had a goal of 10 days still has a goal of 10 days. When I did the coin toss, the one that won out, um, best two out of three, was kitty litter. So that means um, kitty litter ended up being my double down whip for March. Um, so instead of a thousand stitches, I need to do 2000 stitches. <laughs> so that's a lot of stitching on that one project. So I'm gonna do the best I can on it. So um, as far as, um, things that I've received in the mail, like I just mentioned. Um, I did finally receive my, um, Be Stitch Me fabric for February. Is it February's, um, I think it's February's fabric. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to arrive Monday and she shipped it out like late last week. It was supposed to arrive on Monday, but for whatever reason got delayed. <laughs> So I just got it in the mail today. So, and the color of the month 
is vanilla latte. And that, that color is showing up pretty good. Um, kind of a yellowish toned um, beige. So. so, yeah. And from her, again, I say this every time, from her I get a 40 count linen. So, I keep telling myself I need to um, cancel my subscription, especially if I'm going to start having issues with higher count fabrics, but we'll see. Um, so I guess that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, if you notice what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a nice, it looks like a nice pretty shirt from up here. Um, but there was a girl on TikTok that was talking about uh, the Moo Moo's at Walmart. And since I have that long gray night shirt, it's like floor length. <laughs> Um, I thought, well, that's basically a Moo Moo, so I went and checked them out, and the ones she showed were a little bit different, but I got this one, and I got another one, and, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I guess, I guess I'm gonna be a Moo Moo Mama, um, because these things are comfortable. This one is, like, super soft. Like, I don't know what the material is, but it's super soft, like, you wouldn't believe it. And it has pockets. Not that I need pockets in a Moo Moo, but it has pockets. So that's my new comfort level here lately. Um, um, I still have I still have like pajama pants and my regular gray t-shirts and stuff. So sometimes it just depends on how I feel. You know, sometimes I might want to just be comfortable in my Moo Moo, and some days I may want to just wear my t-shirt and my pajama pants. I can go either way. So, um, I guess that's all I got for y'all tonight. I hope you appreciated the light <laughs> that I had set up here for you guys. Um, cause I knew it was going to be dark and I knew that colors weren't going to show up right. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all I got for y'all tonight and I'm just going to keep on working on what I can. Um, I do plan on going out tomorrow. Um, so I don't know how much stitching I'll be able to get in the evening, but if Abby isn't too bad during the day, maybe I might be able to get some progress on Death by Cross Stitch or even Aphrodite Mermaid because I still need to get some progress, some more progress on her. Like, even though February is over, I still need to get some progress on it. I'm still going to keep working on it. Um, I still have Ann Barson Labro out on the Q-Snap. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the eye thing um, before I know officially where that stands. Not that I'm not gonna try to get progress on it, but um, I'm gonna try the glasses thing out first and see how that works. And either way, um, I'm just gonna be um, doing a little bit more experimenting before I get too serious about working on her much more right now. So, um, so yeah, that's all I got for y'all right now. And, um, if I get some progress on it tomorrow, I'll be sure to come back and show you. And I guess I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hello, 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 fellow stitchers. And it, welcome to my channel. Um, not like you weren't already here watching my video but it is Thursday and that would make it March the 3rd I believe um I am I'm running errands as I'm waiting to see if any Instacart orders show up so far no Instacart orders are showing up so I'm just um running a couple errands um picking up this and that that I need. Um, I'm currently headed towards Walmart on the end of town that I rarely go to. And that's because um, I'm hoping to pick up a few things. Um, I'm looking for some iron supplement gummies. And I also need some of the Orgel teething tablets for Abby. Just gave her her last ones this morning. And they also say that they're in stock of these peanut butter and jelly 
sandwich crackers. So we're gonna see. Um, I could just do a grocery pickup, um, but it says it wouldn't be available to pick up until tomorrow. And I figure, what the heck, I'm just gonna drive down here and see if these things are actually in stock. Um, I mean, if I can get the, the um, iron gummies in the teething tablets, I'll be happy. Um, because these peanut butter and jelly crackers, sandwich crackers, are so hard to find, y'all. Um, I got Andy kind of started on them and, um, happened to be at Walmart one day and needed to pick him up some crackers to take to work. And they had, he, he was saying, you know, he's kind of sick of, like, cheese crackers and peanut butter crackers, so... I was trying to find them something, and they were actually technically out, um, a lot of the, um, other kind of crackers, and one of the kind of crackers that I did have there on the shelf was these Austin brand peanut butter and jelly crackers. So, I got them, and of course, he really liked them, because after that, they're impossible to find. Just like when I got started on this Chester puff corn stuff. Seems to be the way it always is. But I'm just headed toward Walmart now and hoping that they have the three items that I need. Um, and then I will have gotten most of my errands searching around for things I'm done. I do also need to kind of stop by like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Or maybe I'll check and see if this Walmart has a um, craft section. And maybe has one of those magnifying glasses that hang from your neck. Um, oh, I did stop by Dollar Tree. Um, and I did manage to find a cute pair of um, 2.5 reading glasses. And they're purple, of course. And... I also got, I got a couple, um, of two packs of large plastic bowls, um, because I think I want to try to, to eat out of those <laughs> instead of the, um, storage container bowls. Um, and what else did I get? I did get a roll of their Cricut vinyl. I'm going to try that out and see how it, how it performs. Um, and what else did I get? I got a metal um, pencil cup because I want to put that on my cart that I keep at the couch there. It has all my stitching stuff on it. Because right there at the corner, um, what inevitably always happens is whatever pen or highlighter I'm using at the time um, always goes like right there at the corner on that top um, top shelf and I want to have it more contained so they don't fall down into the side because keep in mind I do have multiple whips that I work on at a time so I might need a pen for this whip to write down my stitch count um, or to keep up with my tracking sheet or maybe I'm using an orange highlighter to mark off my pattern this particular time and so inevitably I always have a pen or a highlighter or something a stylus something over there and sometimes they manage to kind of slide down and they're at, on, on the bottom of the shelf there. So I found a, um, a cup to put there. Um, sorry, a crazy car with a crazy person and it just pulled up beside of me. Um, and they're smoking a lot of weed. Um, so, um, I think I got something else. Oh, I did get a, um, a little 
cute little notebook that I think I can keep in my purse. Um, it's got kitty cats on it. And I got a, uh, a kitty cat and donut um, eyeglasses case to keep my um, glasses in. Um, what else? I feel like I'm missing something. I got a drink. I got a drink. Um, so, yeah. I already stopped by Dollar Tree. I'm on my way to Walmart. Who hopefully has what I need. And then, if nothing comes up on Instacart still, I guess I'm heading towards, back toward the other side of town to um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere. So, that's what I'm getting up to today and um, appreciate y'all listening to me because <laughs> um, y'all know I like to ramble and I like to keep y'all in the loop about what I got going on. So... Haven't gotten any stitching done today because um, Abby did wake up early, but she also she went down after maybe three or four hours, but she only took like an hour nap, and so I expect her to probably take another hour, hour and a half nap um, with Andy. Um, he's definitely going to try to get her to take a nap so that he can close his eyes for a few minutes. Um, because that's the way it always goes. So, I didn't really have a lot of time to get any stitching in. Um, because after I put her down, I kind of started cleaning up a little bit. I went and cleaned up and cleaned out the refrigerator. Um, it's hard to believe we've had it for, I want to say maybe six months. But I don't think it's been that long. Um, we've only had it maybe four months, three or four months, something like that. I don't remember. Um, I just know that we got the refrigerator when Andy finally, finally got his tax return in late last year. So, um, so maybe we have had it six months. Time flies. I don't know. Um, but it needed, it needed cleaning out. Um, some stuff had gotten on um, one of the shelves and it just needed a good, a good wiping down. Um, and that also gave me a chance to go ahead and affix my vinyl um, labels that I had made up for the drawers. Probably not long after we got the fridge. Well, not long after I got my Cricut, so it had to have been in December. They'd been sitting there for two months now. Um, so that finally gave me a chance to put my vinyls on the drawers. And I, um, what else did I do? I cleaned out the new container that I got to put strawberries in. And I also went ahead and washed out the empty grapes container so that I could go ahead and wash and um, prepare the grapes and the strawberries and put those in their containers. So, and about the time I made me something to eat for lunch, um, about the time I pulled it out of the microwave, of course she woke up. So, and that's the way it always goes. I'm trying to remember. Do I need to go to the grocery side or I need to go to the, I think I need to go to the other side. Um, but, um, so yeah, I haven't had a lot of time today. You paint your truck another color other than matte black. Maybe people might see you a little bit better. <sighs> Y'all don't mind me. I'm just... Eh. That's what happens when mommy gets no stitching time. <laughs> Not really, but... Uh, sounds like a good excuse, doesn't it? So... So yeah, that's what I'm getting up to today. Um, I apologize for all of the, the talking, talking in this um, in this update, but I'm really trying to find ways to be able to keep stitching, <laughs> um, and I just have a lot of running around to do. So um, 
But I'm here at Walmart, if you couldn't tell. And um, I'm going to run in and see if they have what I was going to order online. And um, I guess I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Good early morning, guys and gals. Um, it is um, just after 5.30 a.m. on Saturday, March the 5th. And yes, I know I'm coming to you late. I should have my video uploaded and waiting for you guys to watch it by now. But yesterday just got away from me completely. I just, for whatever reason, my brain kept wanting to think it was like Thursday. And I was like, well, I'll make sure I'll do an update tomorrow um and get my video uploaded but then i realized at the end of the day that no it's not thursday it's friday so <laughs> um and i did spend a good bit of time last night editing the rest of my video so i wanted to go ahead and come in and give you guys one last little update to close out this particular um vlog so, um, I don't have a lot to show you, thankfully. Um, I have a couple of lips that I worked on over the last couple of days. Yesterday, I worked on Death by Cross Stitch. Um, so this makes day two of ten. And I think the last time you saw this, I want to say I was at, like, toward where the bottom of that cross is. Um... I think, yeah. I think I was up where the bottom of that cross is right there. So, everything from like here down I've done. Um, and that's about 120 stitches, I think, is what it said on Pattern Keeper. So, got some decent progress. Just got that little bit left of that diamond. So, so there's where that sits at right now. The funny thing about long dog samplers, if you're going to use Pattern Keeper, you also kind of might want to have a printed copy of the page um, printed out there with you because Pattern Keeper does not show backstitch. As you can see from that diamond in several other places in what I've already stitched, long dog samplers does also use backstitching. So you got two options. Either well, maybe three. Um, you can either just use Pattern Keeper and just ignore all of the back stitching that's in it. Um, you can use Pattern Keeper and combine it with a printed copy of the pattern. Um, and maybe just run solely on Pattern Keeper in areas that don't have back stitching. Or um, you could do like I've seen some people do and stitch the negative. Meaning, like all these spaces, like say all all of this negative space where you see the white, that's what they stitch. I don't know how that would work on a, on a pattern like um, Death by Cross Stitch. So that's where it's at. But anywho, you do you boo. I can't tell you what to do. So the next thing I worked on, and I'm going to get my envelope here to put behind it. Because for whatever reason, this fabric likes to show, show through. <laughs> Might help if I turn it right side up. Um, but as far as Ann Barsh and Lavro, um, I did the word must. <laughs> That's all I did. I did the word must. And I think, I don't know if y'all have already seen this part of the border that I did. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I don't know. But I think I did that the other night to kind of test out. Did I? I don't know. I think I did that the other night to try to test out if I could still use my magnifying glasses. I don't remember. <laughs> but that's, that's what I've done the most recent, so. That's where she sits right now. This is the last line of the actual poem, um, or the, the quote that's on the 
sampler. And then below here, you start getting into the new, into just motifs. And I think her name is down here at the bottom somewhere. So, but that is where she's at. Um, I did spend a little bit of time last night re-kitting um, kitty litter because those those cards that Dimensions puts their thread on these days does not work for me. Um, and I think it's... Sorry, my thing fell. Um, because the cards that they put it on, the thread is in its full length and you have 36 inches of thread hanging off the end of this card and so I literally just put them on these it's a little bit simpler they're not as long um I didn't have three of them so I have three of them um there's 50 colors in kitty litter if anybody's wondering um so and this just what I do is I these are the plastic ones um, and I just I write the number on the plastic and as you can see it does have a habit of rubbing off if you rub it too hard um, but as soon as I get a chance I'm going to take some um, scotch tape and just kind of put pieces of tape over those so so but then when you get done you can take some rubbing alcohol and just wipe all that off and do it again for another project so that's what I put my kit glosses on, particularly the dimensions ones, because yeah, it can be a lot. Um, so I did spend some time last night doing that. Um, but really, that's all I got for y'all today, and I don't have any haul, anything like that. I think I'm supposed to. I think I should be getting my three L threads and floss this week I want to say Monday or Tuesday it's supposed to come um that's what the tracking says on it um but I don't it's not like I'm really like deliberately keeping up with it I use a, an app um called Aftership and it just it just kind of tells you so that's all I got for y'all today um I've already got the rest of the video um edited and ready to go so Hopefully I'll just be able to throw this on there um, and save it to my laptop and then be able to start the upload to YouTube. So once I get that done, I'm going to lay back down and try to get some sleep before a little miss wakes up. <laughs> She's already woke up one time last night uh, about 1am and um, luckily I was able to just kind of calm her down and let her get back to sleep on her own. So I don't know how long she's going to sleep. If you hear a noise. That would be Dean scratching at the door, wanting back in. So, that's another thing I gotta do. Um, but that's all I got for y'all right now. Um, hopefully, y'all can get some stitching in. Hopefully, I can get some stitching, some good stitching in this coming week. And um, until I see y'all again next week. Bye, guys.